big NBA trade, huh? This is a, this would be a great time. This is to have our Sixers fan. Yeah. Yeah, wild trade. So for those of you that aren't NBA fans living under a rock, James Harden, disgruntled in Brooklyn with the Nets, gets traded to the Philadelphia 76ers for Ben Simmons, who was on a mental health break, but all, all of a sudden he gets traded. He's he's good to go. Yeah, we'll he's, see. He's there. Uh, and a bunch of other, like Andre Drummond, Seth Curry, picks. I personally, when Tan, I think Tanner in our group text might have sent it through, I, I think the Brooklyn, I think the Brooklyn Nets in the long run. Yes, win. W win. Yep. For this year, probably the Sixers. Like, it gives them a better shot. Obviously, they get a guy who wasn't playing. He's gone. And they get James Harden in return. I do think losing Seth Curry and Andre Jum Drummond as role players are big. But right. Yeah, I think they gave up too many assets to yeah. to acquire them. But, but uh, yeah, I think I, I, I'm not a big Harden fan. Um, he's going to sell tickets. He's going to put on a show, but he's, I don't think he gets you over the top. He's 32 and they're already right. like, they're already talking about like a four year, like $200 million extension. Like, would you pay him? He's now he's beat up. His hamstrings always hurt. Like right. you paying this guy 50 mil a year. No, he can't. And now with the rules that pretty much not allow him to just draw dumb fouls. Like He's not. I mean, he's still having a good year. He's almost was sure. twenty three, eight and eight or something like that. The Nets is going to be the one that I want to see, because I am not sure, how, like how it's going to look. You're you're a basketball guy, mm -hmm. so Kevin Durant's hurt right now. Right. Kyrie Irving can only play sometimes. <laughs> you can only play half the games. <laughs> away games. You can only play away games. Uh, except for Toronto. I don't think he could go to Toronto. Correct. Um, ben Simmons can't really shoot still. Um, when they are all healthy, so I imagine their starting lineup would be Simmons, Curry, Durant, Kyrie, Drummond. How does that, do you think that that works? I don't I I don't think Simmons helps you. I think I think the pieces outside of him I mean he's going to be he's going to benefit playing next to KD. KD's your centerpiece obviously and to play off of him puts you in a very ideal circumstance in terms of being able to um, maximize what you can run and how you can run it up 16. Um, really laying an egg so, in the second half here. For yeah. So they <coughs> – so I think – Coach Tulip. I think they – you can put a bunch of different pieces that you may not put on a normal normal team be, and, and succeed because of KD. Um, I don't think Simmons – I just don't think Simmons is good for that locker room. I don't understand other than other than the Nets getting rid of Harden because Harden's contract is soon expiring and he and did at least not getting some value and he did not want to play there. Who? Harden. Right. He wanted out. Yeah. So so that I agree with the Nets move in trying to get some value out of him instead of just losing him to the free agency market. So I just don't think I don't think Ben was the answer because from a, I, I just don't whatever's going on I hope he's okay I hope everything but you know it's just a he finally came out and spoke to the media a little bit and you know didn't obviously divulge but it's just not a good look to the Nets are going to come down the stretch here and can you count on them and I don't and that question is going to be Tough to tough to answer right now. I like the fact that they got Curry. Is Harris, I don't know what he actually yeah. did, but I know yeah. he's I mean, out. The, the two picks, the draft picks. I mean, you two got first rounders. Yeah, which I mean, again, so they they are not going to draft players in the first round. They are going to trade them to try to get someone else at yeah. some point. Yeah. Yeah, and, and you know, and getting Seth 
Seth out to spread the floor a little bit for you and, and open some things up with KD. I mean, like those things fit. That's the thing. Like, so, but here's my thing. Like, so I don't know. I know Steve Nash is a coach, so I haven't watched a Brooklyn Nets game. Are they? Does he run like a system like D'Antoni, like get and go, like because that's what he played <laughs> under? I couldn't. I couldn't really give you that answer because I don't follow it that close so, at this point in the year. Here's, but here's my thing with just those three guys on the court: Simmons, yeah. Durant, Kyrie. Obviously, could Durant and Kyrie play off the ball? Absolutely, they could both shoot. And they're fine. But are you really going to take the ball out of Kevin Durant's hands? Like no, he is what I'm saying. the toughest player you, in the hundred percent, the toughest player to guard one on one. Like I, Giannis is, Kevin Durant could do anything. I'm gonna go as the, far. Go the, the, the fact, like his move, he like a lot of times I see him take that one dribble, get to the elbow, rise up, unstoppable. Yeah, it's like he he's been doing it for his whole career, and it is unstoppable, and it is the nicest thing to watch, and it's so simple best one-on-one player like so you're gonna take the ball out of his hands to get it to ben simmons no no and and i'll go as far as saying if you took simmons out of the deal the nets still win yeah because of the picks you think yeah that you have picks and you have role guys that you could depend on and that can help you in action on the offensive end of the floor that are going to complement kd and kyrie um, you know, and I just I have zero stock in, it's, in Ben Simmons right now. It's crazy too, though, because like you can't deny that Ben Simmons defensively fantastic. He's great. Mm-hmm. Defend one through five, okay. Uh, with the ball in his hands, in open space, playmaker, right? He's got yeah. great court vision, but again. If you're not in transition and if they're not running in offense, and maybe Steve Nash is smart enough to be like, okay, with Ben out there, let's try to get it and go to maximize what he does well. But, like, if you're in a half-court set, Ben Simmons kills you. Right, and and that's that's where I think, like, in, in terms of his value, he doesn't add anything to that trade to me. So take your, take your <coughs> guy, Ben Carroll, from Duke. Paolo? He comes in the league. I already think he's better than Ben. I mean, you can't say you don't get anything out of Ben. You get a defense. So you could take Ben Simmons and be like, you're you're playing their best player today. And even if you just do that, like we don't need you to score. But again, when you could just sag off of a guy, if you just you can't just stick Ben Simmons in the corner and be like, Stay there because this guy's just going to sag off of him. Correct. And now, now granted, is Durant really – Durant's not like Giannis. Like, so he's not really going to clog things up for Durant. He'll clog things up for Kyrie. Durant really doesn't get downhill and get to the bucket. He gets downhill and rises up because yeah. he can because he's six foot eleven with a 8-foot wingspan. Like, Right. Um, but, yeah, I think he'll really cause problems for Kyrie. And, I, I mean, maybe if you bring him in off the bench and he's, like, out there when Durant isn't, or at least one of those two isn't, so that way he can get the ball in his hands. But if he doesn't have the ball in his hands offensively, he's kind of useless. Mm-hmm. And when you have Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving, you're not really going to put the ball in Ben Simmons' hands and let him no. do things. Right. So, I don't know. And then I guess the big thing with uh, the Sixers on their end, it's people are really – like, oh, that pick and roll is going to be lethal, Harden and Embiid. But, yeah, you, I think losing Seth Curry is big. Is he shooting like 40-some percent from deep? Yeah. Like. Yeah, you, you have to have that guy, especially in the NBA, for that pick and roll to be successful. You need that third guy. Now it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna, uh, it's gonna be interesting. Obviously, Embiid's playing out of his mind. I think he might be the MVP front runner. I don't know. I think he's up there. Him and Jokic again. Um. But it, it'll be interesting to see. 